welcome, Scorpio Sagittarius, to your May chakra reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. In your chakras this month, you have the sacral chakra coming out, talking about your innermost desires. Okay, this is what I truly want on a very deep level. Okay, and it's talking about rebirth. What you truly want, what you truly desire is going to take on this beautiful rebirth because it's like now I'm putting all this new intention of what it is I desire into this, which actually has to take a rebirth in itself. So it's definitely kind of having its own management course over here as it's shifting. It's saying you really want this, huh? So now I have to go and shift into this. Um, and it's bringing in this also this beautiful butterfly effect within yourself because you're overly aware of what it really truly is that you really desire. So very nice. Uh, the card coming out for that is Order of the Melodic, which is embraced by the light, mission uncovered, and don't give up. Sometimes a rebirth and the shift can be a little tricky, um, and it might even throw things at you. So make sure that you do not give up. Right. It might even want you to change certain routines for better routines, um, but you're definitely going to see an increase of energy and things that are really coming at you that you're going to say, oh my gosh, where'd that come from? They're not coincidences. It's actually a part of the rebirth because as you actually are putting all the intention from the solar plexus into the sacral chakra, then it's going to bring in the stability of what you truly want because it hits the heart and says, yes, this is what I want for you because you're actually doing something I really want you to do. So your soul's right on top of this with you, right? So you have these inner intentions um, that's really shifting and doing all these great things. So you can only imagine that your vitality from your rich chakra is just kicking, right? So you're feeling great. You feel like you have increased energy. But like I said, there could be little things that kind of take your focus off of other little things because of the shift, right? So you could say, well, I don't know about that though, <laughs> right? Because rebirths are not always, you know, they're the greatest, but sometimes they shift back and forth um, and they kind of get your attention in other places. You want to make sure you keep good routines with yourself and don't try to go backwards or get um, off focus, right? Um, over here, you have the Earth Start Activation, which is anchoring and grounding action of the Isis energy. And this is saying that you now are bringing in this Earth Star Chakra, which is located uh, six inches below the root chakra. And this is saying that you're completely grounded. This is where the roots are actually going deep down into the ground itself, you know, into the, uh, like you could say, the, uh, a lot of times they say the underworld. Um, but actually to me, it's like getting down into the core of the earth, you know, is more kind of what it is. It's going under, under the ground. Um, and that's really activating all that like core energy of the earth, right? That's really what that means. Um, and this is going to help you really stay stable because you're becoming, as they always say, one with the earth. And that means one with yourself, one with your overall stability, really keeping yourself grounded not allowing yourself to, no moving, right? Because we don't want to move backward. That's why I'm saying you want to stay very focused, you know, because you're going to be shifting and feeling like the butterfly, but you don't want to get off. You don't want to pull your roots out of the ground. So really taking on that earth star shock, uh, chakra energy is really going to be great, right? That's going to be the greatest. This is where you've been feeling a little scattered with your thoughts and feelings and finding it difficult to focus and concentrate then maybe you feel a little stressed, even though you're feeling really happy, right? So you're kind of kind of having a, a balance issue in some ways when it comes to this rebirth. Um, but this is a very common feeling um, to get up, you know, to get caught up in when you're having a rebirth. So it's just the kind of the craziness around you that you're, because you're trying to shift so much to really get to where you really want to get your desires and intentions met. So it's okay. Just make sure that you keep yourself very deeply connected. This is where meditation will really come in really, really, really handy at this time um, to really uh, not allow any stress or concentration issues uh, uh, come up too hard on you. Let's put it that way. Um, you have Anunnaki light codes. Um, this is energetic shift. There's that shift. And we're talking about that energetic shift. 
uh, new information and the end of the cycle. Well, you have the rebirth, so we definitely know. Let's put these together here. Um, we definitely know it's the end of the shift because of the rebirth. And that's what it is. It's that energetic shift, but then you have that kind of, there's that crazy kind of feeling, right? So they're really going hand in hand. Um, so make sure that you don't give up. Um, and this is saying your intuition is very high because you're manifesting. You're really getting to that true desire of what it is you really want. And as everything is shifting around you, your intuition could even be going a little crazy as well. Um, because it's almost like intuitively, you know, this, um, and then that crazy monkey mind ego comes back in and it's like, but there's that balance issue again, ascended masters. But it's also saying you also know that the divine is with you. You can feel the spirit around you. You know, you're being pushed in the right direction by higher self spirit itself. So always remember that you're not alone. Spirit is here with you. That's why I said meditation be a really good thing, you know, or some kind of relaxing, um, music or something of this nature to really get you grounded and just kind of stay stable and energized and balanced for planning and action. So there's definitely something coming up within this rebirth that's really going to get you intuitively um, really thinking about the next step of planning and action. And that's really going to be really coming up huge um, because it's going to say, well, now I've got you thinking in this direction. Um, and this is the direction that's under the sacral chakra. Because so it's saying this is, this is my desire. This is what I really wanted. Um, but now you're going to have to start taking some kind of action upon the situation. Ooh. Progress. So really progressing in the area where you really want to be with the rebirth. And it is definitely moving you up the ladder. Um, especially at night, it feels like there is a huge shift going on within you in the evening time, maybe while you're sleeping to where, you know, the next day you wake up, maybe you're seeing a lot of synchronicities, just feeling like you're going to start seeing a lot of synchronicities because of the intuition and the ascended masters over here coming through saying, but I'm giving you all the signs, seven, 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 two, two, two. Wow. I can't wait to watch the numerology, right? To see what's going on there. Um, but, uh, definitely here's the patience and planning again. Saying, because at night, I'm putting all the pieces together for you so that you can get ready to patiently plan because you're planting all these seeds. And I have to make sure, this is spirit speaking, right, that the universe, that I get everything to go smoothly through the rebirth. So definitely they're working upon this situation. Yeah, it's going to feel like magic. That's Look, you're manifesting it anyways, you know, because you have your intention out there, whether you're praying on it, however it is. You know, you're putting it into the universe through law and attraction. So when you do have this activated and it's really starting to come through, um, you're definitely going to see this as almost magic. Oh my God, how did I get this phone call? Oh my gosh, how did this happen? Do not fight it. Do not try to make it some crazy coincidence. It's not a coincidence. When things like this happen, there's no coincidence with the universe when it comes to this cut of things. This is because you activated it. You brought it to light. Right? So, yeah, don't fight against the rewards. Um, you work too hard for this, right? So that's another one of those imbalances, right? <clears throat> is trying to move your roots. Because you have this huge transfer transformation. And we have the snake coming through in this here, right? And you're activating your third eye. You can clearly see, right, once you get into your divine essence, which is the snake, that this truly is exactly what it's meant to be. So unify yourself with what you need to unify yourself with and understand that you have the divine essence within yourself. And it's just the universe is just pushing that through you, right? As you have awakened to this, this understanding and um, taking on this energy. But guys, you already know, it's, you know, deep within yourself what you did. It's just that maybe it took so long to actually start manifesting, right? Maybe it's happening be because of the solar eclipse. Or not this, yeah, maybe it was the solar eclipse that activated it, and now you're going to get it at the lunar eclipse. Yeah, wow. Somehow or another, something has taken place during one of these eclipses, you know, and maybe you just waited a long time and you can't really, re you know, you don't always remember because some things can take a long time. Um, that's for some of you. A lot of you, you just, it, it, it's almost going to feel like, like I said, like magic, so you can't, it's going to be hard to think of it. 
Um, but it's no coincidence. Uh, the page of wands coming in, this is where you need to travel to. You have the divine essence within yourself and you're traveling straight to it. So you need to travel towards the patience and the planning and the planning and the action, right? So now you want to plan the action, have patience and planning. So it's going to be like two and one, right? Do not allow yourself to neglect any of the situations at hand because a lot of times we neglect them as coincidences. So don't do that. Remember, get deep within reflection. You know where you're going. You know what it is. You have the resources and the keys within yourself. You've already used them. Now reap the abundance from them. And that's exactly what you're doing. You have the victory. So it's saying your victory is on its way. I mean, the only thing I was really looking for was a chariot. I didn't see the chariot. The only thing I have is fear not. Get yourself balanced because you have everything's justified, right? Do not allow your ego to get too much into the way. The ego is that monkey mind. That's that, you know, that regular mind that we have that, you know, always wants us to, um, you know, only think of analytical things, <laughs> right? Overthinking. So don't allow that to, you know, make you overthink situations. There's no reason to. Just feel it, know it, and have faith that this is exactly what's going on as you feel it coming through. Okay, and just go with the flow, my friends, and allow it and embrace it. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.